Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and in the previous videos, we finished with our first two string comparison operators that is CO and CN. Now we will move on to our next string comparison operator that is CA. But CA stands for contains any contains any word itself is suggestible you can extend in this way also any means any number of matching character it should be at least one and maximum can be any number so if we will talk in terms of example v1 is our first string v2 is our second string v1 contains any v2. So in which case it will be true result. If v1 has at least one character which is in v2, we will always always get a true result. If first string has at least one character which is in our second string, we will always always get a true result. If you want to compare it to CO, CO is contains only at that time your first string, all characters of first string, it is in second string. If you want a true result, if any of the character which is in string 1 and not in string 2, we always, always get a false result. Now, in case of CA, word itself is saying any number, any number. If you have at least one matching character, if at least one character of V1, it is in V2, we will always, always get a true result. And yes, if there is no matching character, we will always, always get a false result. And yes, this string, this string comparison operator Yes, take case sensitiveness also into consideration. Now, this system variable we already covered plays a vital role in all the string comparison operator. So whenever you will get a true result, it will give the position of first character of string one that is in string two. It means it will give the position or offset of first matching character of string 1, which is in string 2. Yes, but if we will get a false result, it will return the length of the string 1. And just think, this string comparison operator is widely, widely used whenever we want to validate the password. Suppose simple example, if I will take your password, suppose from the screen, you are passing test at the rate one, two, three, four, and you have a second string. Suppose this is your first string. This is your first string. And this is our second string. LV underscore string two. Suppose I'm saying zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, your password should consist of at least one number. So whenever you will come, whenever you will write LV underscore string one, string one contains any LV underscore string two. So in that case, it will check whatever the password you put, it has at least a number or not. Yes. Whatever the password we put, it has at least a number and contains any definition itself is suggesting. Yes, any number, but it should be at least one. So during whenever you will validate the password, this string comparison operator is widely, widely used because we will check password should consist of at least one number. Password should consist of at least one special character. Password should consist of at least one, one letter in capital. 
So at that time, we will widely, widely use this string comparison operator. Now we will do the practical for the same so that this topic will make more more sense. Now, suppose I will comment this particular logic. And now I will write the logic. Suppose I am writing data lv underscore string one. Suppose I am giving length 10 type C. Suppose I am giving the value. Suppose I am saying test at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose your first string value is test at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. And suppose our second string is lv underscore string 2 type C value. Suppose I will give the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we are writing if lv underscore string 1 contains any lv underscore string 2. I will write the system variable psi fdpos else part I will write psi fdpos and I will go for and if you all know every if is end with and if I will check the syntax and I will activate if first string has at least one character which is in string 2 we will always always get a true result whenever we are using ca and in this case we will get a true result because in first string and second string one two three four are matching and it is more than one it should be at least one suppose if i will show you in that debugging mode i will run this program now I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now if you see the first string, this is our first string. And this is our second string. At least one character of first string, it is available in second string. Yes. Now if I will do F6, you can see this if condition is true. If I will show you the value of psi fdpos, it is 5, 5. And just see, whenever it is true, it will give the offset of first matching character. Just see where is the first matching character. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the first matching character which of v1 which is in v2. Yes, we have four matching character, but this system variable will return the position or offset of first matching character. Now I am doing F8 and I got the result. Now we will go for false scenario. Suppose I am saying password is you have written test at the rate ABCD. Suppose you have put this particular, the value of string one is test at the rate A, B, C, D. At this point of time, we hard coded the password. But whenever you will go to a BAP programming to playlist in the future, at that time, we will give a input. User will give the input, yes. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint. Now, C, A contains any. Now, if you see, first string is test at the rate A, B, C, D. No character, there is no matching character. There is no character of V1 which is in V2. So, we will get a false result. If I am running this particular program, if I will go to desktop 3, this is our first string. And this is our second string. No character of V1, it is in V2. So we will get a false result. And have you seen? 
control when to else part yes and what is psi fdpos 10 if we have false result it will return the length of first string and what is the length of first string it is 10 now we will take the third scenario that it is case sensitive this string operator consider case sensitiveness suppose what i will do i will declare suppose one more string lv underscore string 3 suppose i am writing 26 we have because we have the alphabets a to z suppose i am writing a b c d everything in capital letter so now i will show you it is case sensitive or not now rather than string 2 now i will write string 3 here now you will get a real idea how we are validating the password in real world yes Firstly, I took the example of numbers. Now I'm taking the example of capital. You put this particular string. Now you are comparing with this particular string. Now, if at least one character is matching, we will always, always get a true result. Have you seen T in capital? And here we have T in capital. Yes, rest are in small. Suppose if I will put a breakpoint and I will go for execute. At least one character of string 1, it is in string 2. Now, if I will go for first string, this is our second string. Now, T is matching. Yes. So, we will get a true result. And what is Psi FDPOS? Position of first matching character. And what is the position of T? It is 0. You all know in SAP position starts from 0. So we got a true result. Now we will go for false result. Suppose I am putting T in small. Now contains any. If we will not take case sensitiveness into consideration, test, it is here. T is here, E is here, S, T, A, B, C, D, everything is here. But this string comparison operator takes case sensitiveness into consideration. So none of the character is matching. There is no matching character. So we will get a false result. If I will run, if I will go to desktop 3, now you can see this is string 1, this is string 2. Now, if because this string comparison operator take case sensitiveness into consideration, so there is no matching character. Now you can see control went to else part and it will return the length of the first string. And what is the length of the first string? It is so what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the string comparison operator CA. CA stands for contains any. This any word will itself give you the full clarity. Any means any number, but it should be at least one if you are getting, if you want a true result. If at least one character of first string it is in string 2, then we will get a true result. If none of the character of V1, it is in V2, then we will get a false result. Yes, this string comparison operator is also also take case sensitiveness into consideration. If the result is true, it will give the offset or position of the first matching character of string 1 which is in string 2. If we are getting a false result, this system variable will return the length of the first string. Then I showed you the practical. We covered how we are getting true result, how we are getting false result, and then I explained case sensitiveness into consideration. Now, one important part. Have you seen 
intentionally i have put the length 26 only because i have 26 character in the future i will cover the significance of trailing spaces in all the string comparison operator at that time i will explain this part also what is the significance of trailing spaces in all the string comparison operator and that will be taken care in the future that point i will cover in the future so in the next video we will go for our next string comparison operator that is cncn now that's it in this video thank you